I'm going to show you how I'm going to wire a double duplex outlet. And uh, there's a couple of ways that I'm aware of, probably more than that, but two that I see used quite often. One of them is where you have the two outlets and you make some jumpers and you wire incoming wires on the top, outgoing on the bottom or vice versa. And two wires from this one tie into two terminals on the second one. So the power has to come through your first outlet, pass through it, and go to your second outlet. Some of the arguments I've heard or uh, drawbacks of that is if you have an outlet fail, then they'll probably both fail, depending on which one fails. What I'm going to do is wire them both separately with pigtails off of the main incoming power. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that as far as wiring a, a double duplex outlet. This is the cover that I'll be using. If anybody wants to get the part number or whatever off of that. Double duplex metal four, four by four inch box cover. Comes with the cover of course. And then four small bolts and nuts that'll be necessary as we continue on. So the first thing I'm going to do is strip down a piece of wire. And I just chose to pick eight inches of wire for my pigtails. It's always easier to work with a little extra wire than it is not enough, at least in my opinion. So I'm just going to score this. Peel off the insulation, the outer insulation. Probably just pull them out. It's only a short piece. And you'll get the three wires out of it. A white, black, and a solid copper. So the black is the hot, the white is the neutral, and the copper is the ground. What I'm going to do is... Uh, Strip both ends of the white and the black. One end will get a hook and the other end will just be a straight piece and I'll put a hook on one end of the copper. I just want to make sure I strip enough. We want to strip enough of the insulation so that when you make the hook there's no insulation going to be incorporated into that hook and as you tighten it under that screw the screw is tightening down just on the copper not on the insulation. And then I'll take one end of each one of those and bend a hook into it. Approximately like that. See here's where you got to be real careful about if you don't strip enough, you don't want that insulation coming up here into the hook where it's going to be where that screw is. Make sure it's out of the way of the, of the loop in the hook. And I actually need two sets of these. I'm going to make another set exactly like that. Okay, I've got two sets of pigtails for each wire. Neutrals, the blacks are the hots, the bare wires are the grounds. Hooks on one side, straight, stripped on the other side. The way these outlets work, you've got brass screws on one side and silver on the other, and then a green, which is your ground. So brass is for black, which is the hot side. The silver is for the neutrals, the whites, and the green is the ground, which is the bare copper wire. So I just pick either top or bottom. It doesn't matter since they're both connected. I'll just go with the bottom, just make all mine the same. Start putting your pigtails on there. Now the way this works with the pigtails, the screws are gonna turn to the right to tighten. So you want that hook to be facing around to the right. So when you tighten down on the screw, it's going to try to pull the wire around the screw instead of try to push it off of the screw. If that makes sense, hopefully. But this is important. 
snug it down. And then if you're not going to use the other screw, you should probably just turn it in. That way it's not sticking out. It's the least chance for it to get hung up or shorted out on something inside the box. Do the same thing for the neutral on the silver screw. See how that insulation is not underneath the screw? The screw is only touching on the copper wire. So that's how you want your strip stripped in to look once it's underneath the screw. Otherwise you could get a hot spot and cause you problems. Same thing with the hook going the same direction that the screw goes. And there you go. So you'll do the other one exactly like that. And you got your pigtails all set. So we'll do the other one and we'll come back. And then once you get those completed, they'll look like this. And I like to just hold them up side by side and just kind of look at the, the brass, make sure those are all black. Look at the silver, make sure those are all the white neutrals. And then of course the bare copper on the grounds. Just make sure they're uniform and you've got them all correctly. And unused terminal screws are screwed all the way in. The next step, if you're connecting uh, two duplex outlets like I am in a metal box and you have a cover plate like the one I got, the outlets will not fit into this cover plate with these tabs or these ears on here. And yours might be slightly different, but the principle is the same with all of them. First of all, you want to take the, take the screws out. You're not going to be needing those. And there's a little plastic washer or nut thing on there that kind of helps them so they don't just fall out. So take, take all those screws out. You can just pull on that screw real hard and pull it out of there. But So you've got the screws and then take a pair of pliers or something and we want to break off this outer tab. So you can just bend it back and forth a few times and it'll break off of there. If you bend that up, just straighten it out. Same thing with the other side. So your outlets look like this. So now those will fit down in the box. And fit flush. Just like it should. Then they give you nuts and bolts. Four of them. Four of each. And I'll just take and put the nut on the back side and hold it with my finger. Just set it on there like that. Take your finger and line up the hole and put a bolt in it. And then once I get them all in there, I'll just hold that nut with my finger and tighten the tighten the bolt down so they're nice and tight. Now I'm going to do that to all four of them and we'll come back and show it to you. And then this is what uh, it looks like when it's finished. Both face in the proper direction so the grounds are on the bottom. So when I put that in the box it's going to be set. Got all my pigtails and everything lined up. And it's just good and solid. This way, if I have a problem with any individual one, I can easily remove that one and deal with it. And if one fails, it won't affect any of the others. 
All right, so next thing, we'll take this over and we'll uh, install it. This is the end of the line. So all I have is three wires coming in, bringing power to the box. A hot black, white neutral, and a ground. I'm going to cut this off in length a little bit, strip the ends and get that done, and I'll bring you back and show you before I put the cover on. And you can see I've neatly pushed to the back of the box the three clusters of the uh, the grounds underneath the red cap. Four grounds all wired together there, one off of each outlet, and then the one coming in and one going to the box. Neutrals, the whites, three of those under a yellow cap, and three hots underneath the uh, yellow cap. Now once we have the cover back on, we can turn on the power, which I've done, and then we'll test to make sure each outlet is receiving power. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And that's how I wire a double duplex outlet. If you enjoy these types of videos, consider subscribing to the channel. Really help me out if you give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next video.